The Mississippi House Judiciary Committee convened for its second hearing on crime in the city of Jackson. 12 News' Richard Lake has more on the hearing designed to help curb crime in the capital city. In the hearing, the focus was on how the state can best serve the city of Jackson and its police officers ahead of the 2023 legislative session. We have some ideas, whether it be expanding the capital complex, whether it be helping the city of Jackson with uh, their holding facility, whatever the case may be, uh, we do have some plans coming forward this next session. While they discussed many possible solutions, an investment in mental health services continued to be a talking point. Paying and supporting your law enforcement officers and giving them the means and tools to, to be successful, but I also think mental health and being aware of mental health and funding mental health is, is a critical issue. 71% of the violent crime of the, the, the homicides that we've had in Jackson have been through interpersonal disputes. Uh, there are other uh, intervening tools that we need to be able to use uh, to address the things that are happening within homes. According to Mayor Lumumba, the city of Jackson suggested investments in the Jackson Police Force, the Jackson Crime Center, and the Office of Violence Prevention and Trauma Recovery. As the 2023 legislative session draws closer, one Jackson representative believes that investing in mental health and supporting law enforcement is the solution forward. Once we get a, a hold on how to secure these officers, pay them more money, uh, help them out, uh, that's the only way that we'll be able to cure the crime issues in, in our communities. According to Representative Bell, crime will be a priority this legislative session after Jackson's water and infrastructure are addressed. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.